In this video, what we'll be sharing with you guys is how we can spend our money wisely. Hi guys, my name is Jan. I'm the founder of The Present. In this channel, we talk about business, finance, and life-related matters. So if you're interested about those topics, don't forget to subscribe and tap the notification bell so that every time we have new videos, you will get notified, okay? So obviously guys, in terms of spending money, uh, it's just a normal thing that happens in our financial life, okay? We earn money, it may be from your business, it may be from your investment, it may be from your employment, but all of those money will be spent on a certain thing, right? Or in a, on a certain service or whatever that may be. So the question is, how do we even spend it in a way that it's practical and it is wise? right so in this video i'll be sharing three things that you can do right now or you can change in terms of your financial habits ready here we go the first one is that only buy the things that you need i repeat only buy the things that you need right so before you even buy a certain thing what's the purpose you have to ask yourself this what's the purpose of you buying that certain thing is it because you need it or is it because you want it? Because those two, two things are very different, right? But what ends up happening is that we want, our emotion is telling us to buy the things that, sh that we want, and our logic is telling us to buy the things that we need. For example, food, paying your electricity bill, and all those things, those are needs, those are essentials. Buying the things that we want, that's the time that our logic is lost and our emotion wins the game what do i mean when you buy a new cell phone do you really need a new cell phone that's the question right when you buy a new computer do you really need a new computer okay do you really have to go to lazada and shopee all of the time just for you to have uh, new things okay to be frank with with you guys all all of the things that i have uh, that i own are, are actually things that i need Okay? What I mean by that is I'm actually using it. Okay, Because when you are using it, that means it becomes a sort of investment because every single day that you're using it, your life is becoming better. At the same time, the chances of you um, not wasting money is very high because you're using it. You're maximizing what you bought. Are you getting it so far? So it's just very important for us to just buy the things that you need, not just the things that you want okay that's number one the second thing is when you buy the things that you need you also have to consider the quality right not just the price but also the quality let me give you an example that I experienced way way back I, when I say way way back maybe it's around six or five years ago I started doing CrossFit last 2014 okay for the sake of just trying it out and then to be honest with you guys I really had fun and I was able to um, build some muscles and things like that it doesn't it's not really clear right now because I'm no longer doing it but at least you know that I tried it way back 2014 right and one of the things that I need was a pair of shoes because I really don't have a pair of shoes for me to use for it for um, working out and so there was there was uh, a promo in one of the re in one of the stores here in Davos City specifically in Abriza and uh, they were selling it at 1,000 pesos off. So from a 2,800 product or pair of shoes, it became 1,800. So I asked, I asked um, the, the salesperson or the merchandiser, I asked him if I'm going to use this pair of shoes every single day, right? Every single day, how long will this last? So he told me, all right, sir, if you're gonna use this for every single day, right that means it's 365 days a year it will last with you for three years hmm. i said okay that's a good thing so it basically means if it's 1800 pesos and it will last for three years it's like saying that you're spending 600 pesos per year for that certain pair of shoes but i'm not saying that i'm gonna use it wisely it's just a worst case scenario or like you're really maximizing what you bought right so in that specific situation the price is validated based on the quality of the pair of shoes right comparing to another experience that i had i i bought uh, the same thing a pair of shoes but it was a fake one right it was not authentic it was fake it was 800 pesos right and after like just three months of using it it's broken right it's like it's broken 
So it's like saying if um, 800 pesos and that it lasted for three months, that means if I'm going to buy a new pair of shoes every quarter, I'm gonna spend 2,400 pesos a year just for a pair of shoes. Are you getting it? Okay, so there's a difference between just buying for the sake of the price and buying for the sake of quality. Sometimes it is worthwhile to spend more so that the product that you're buying will last longer. It is more durable and it is more of quality. Okay, I hope that makes sense based on the experience that they have. And um, you really have to consider not just the price, but also the quality. That is tip number two. Tip number three is that you, all, you also have to invest in yourself. Okay, now I keep on mentioning, okay, Jan keeps on mentioning, um, you have to invest in yourself, right? Like learn, experience things, know more, invest in books and all of these things. But to be honest with you guys, I wouldn't have gotten to this place right now if I didn't invest in myself, right? Now, just to clarify, I'm not referring to you buying expensive things so that it will make you look rich. I'm not referring to buying the things that you want just for the sake that you want it, okay? You also have to be practical about your finances. When you invest in yourself, you will be amazed because the way you think, the way you act, and the way you make decisions will also change. And that is because you invested in yourself, okay? So I was able to venture, I was able to experience things at, the, at, an early age. I'm, uh, at an early age. I'm currently 26 years old, for those people who don't know, right? I may look 32 because of my hairline or my face or how I talk or whatsoever. Uh, but the reason behind it is, the, is that I started venturing into the quote-unquote real world at the age of 10, okay? So throughout those experiences, that's the reason why I can confidently talk about business, finance, and life-related matters because I invested in myself, okay? You're getting it so far? And another, another thing that you can do is you can also invest in like webinars or seminars that you want, but because of the pandemic, it's not really happening anytime soon, these seminars, but webinars are existing. Um, speaking of which, I just want to invite you, just a little plug, there will be an event this coming January 2021 conducted by New Bold University and I will be one of the speakers. I will be sharing about wealth assessment and wealth creation. Basically what that means is you have to check our financial condition as of this moment, especially during this pandemic, right? And how can we create a financial system in order for us to be financially free despite the uncertainty? uncertainties okay that's my topic and i will be sharing the stage with other speakers like francis kong john pagulayan and anthony pangilinan ralph lyko and so much more if you want to invest your in yourself by joining this event it's only 4999 and the registration link is in the description below okay so guys i hope this video is a lot of value to you there are three things once again number one is only buy the things that you need number two is you also have to consider the quality not just the price and number three is invest in yourself if, if this video added any value to you in any way don't forget to hit the like button so that it will help the algorithm of, of youtube to push us up um, the algorithm of course okay question of the day what are your ways that you can spend your money wisely? Let us know in the comment section.